Hello, friends, and what a glorious day it is to be able to come back into your presence to share with you coffee and conversation. A ray of hope coming to you from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Hey, get you a cup of coffee, sit with me for just a moment, and let's encounter the truth of God's Word together. A great way to get a new day started, a fresh cup of hot coffee. Well, today, my friend, I want to bring to you a thought that I've titled Confession That Sets Us Free. In 1 John chapter 1, verse number 9, the Bible says if we confess our sins, that he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You know, my friend, confession is talking. Confession is the unloading of the darkness that we carry within us day by day. Now, to not confess means that we must live in darkness, dirt, and the contamination of our own heart and soul. You see, my friend, sin pollutes our soul and destroys our spiritual heart. When we confess, we speak the truth about our lives and about ourselves. The self-confrontation or honesty about our lives bring with it purification or cleansing from God. You see, my friend, we can walk around on earth in sinful ignorance, but there is a cost. We can pretend that we have not gone astray from what God wants from us, but we can't pretend without paying a heavy price. Confession requires not only the confrontation of our falling short, but also the speaking up about our falling down. Confession is not a matter of inflicting a wound on ourselves. Confession does not hurt us. Instead of hurting us, confession brings to us a healing process. My friend, with confession, we're set free and unburdened by speaking about the sins, by speaking about the mistakes, and by speaking about the errors that haunt us uh, like ghosts in the night. Confession takes us out of the prison created by our sin. After we confess, we are then free to walk in the light of God's love and grace. Yes, as the text verse has said, when we confess our sins, then God is faithful and just to cleanse us from our sin, to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Pray with me. Father, today how grateful we are that we can confess, and Lord, that we can get a new start. We can unload the dirt of sin and shame and Lord, that we can begin again, and we can begin by following you. I pray for the one that needs to do this the most this morning, O oh God, that you would just convince and convict hearts that we could unload the dirty sins of our lives and get a new start. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, go out into your world. Do your best to make a difference. Remember to smile as you go. Let others see the Lord Jesus in you. Hey, it's your life that could be the only Bible that some will ever read. Have a great day.